Hello again, and thank you for tuning in to your September 2016 Tarot Scopes with me, Madeline. I really appreciate you joining me. Um, if I look a little hot under the collar, it's because these late September 2016 Tarot Scopes are brought to you by Mercury Retrograde, where we are broadcasting to you live from my 90 degree apartment with the broken AC and the building owner who can't be reached, Mercury Retrograde! <laughs> I hope yours is going better for you. Um, but the good news is this month that Jupiter has moved into Libra. So everyone has this sense of new luck, growth, expansion, and higher learning coming into our charts, um, which you can read more specifically about what it's doing for you at my blog, writteninthestars.co, and check out your weekly horoscopes. But without further ado, on to your September tarot scopes. Thanks for coming. Capricorn, thank you for tuning in to your September 2016 Ooh, Jumpers Terrascope. Let's just jump right in, shall we? Clearly, <laughs> clearly, Spirit is ready to jump right in. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well. Okay, Capricorn. Alrighty. So, this is interesting. It's like you have this, oh, hello. Sorry, you need to see a little more of that, don't you? So you make it so you can see what I see. Okay. So, you have this tremendous inspiration to give, this amazing creative, um, this creative idea this willpower, this ability. Like, even if you don't know what the idea is, it would make even almost more sense because this is like, the Ace of Wands is like primal energy, primal creative energy. You have the drive and you're like, um, some of you it's like, what do I do with it? But others of you, it's like, it's it's been banked, this bit of fire, by heartbreak, by separation, by betrayal, by a sense of like, well, I mean, look, this heart is pierced, and there's just a sense of feeling just so tired. Just, I've been through so much, like, battered and bruised. But here's the most important thing about this Capricorn. Like, yes, you definitely have. You've been through a lot, but you're not the type to whine. Like, that is not your MO. Um, you always learn from the things that you go through. And every battle that this guy's been through, he takes the weapons of the people that he's fought he, he not only takes them, he arranges them like trophies, <laughs> flaming trophies, by the way, to remind himself of what he's been through and what he's completed, and also to show other people, like, I am nobody to fuck with. Like, look at all that I've done and all that I've been through, and I came out alive, and not mortally wounded, still standing. And you can be very solitary, Capricorn. Very solitary. And you know what? The thing is that at this time, that is right. That is good for you um, to be the hermit, to seek your own wise counsel, to just silence any voices around you, to... And, and okay, when I say that, Spirit is saying that that includes, like, distractions. That includes distractions that aren't other people. Like, there's a big temptation to, like, shut the blinds and turn off the lights and turn on the Netflix and just kind of tune out. But it's like you need to tune in to yourself. I do not mean to riddle you with cliches. I know you guys have a tremendous bullshit meter, so sorry about that, but it's true. It's time to tune into yourself. Like, for some of you, if if prayer is, is what vibes with you, or if you are willing to do meditation, or a long bath, a long walk, just some journaling, it's like you really need to make some mental space. You need to clear out and make some mental white space, and haha, -ha, white space, see, right here. And really give yourself room for your internal wisdom to kind of bubble up and tell you what needs to be let go of in your life. Um, what you need to release. And this is like, I mean, look at this guy. There's like a little bit of guilt here. 
like you feel guilty that you you can't carry every single thing in in your life and in your mind and the thing is Capricorn like you're so strong and you're so hardworking, but nobody should have to carry all that like you can only do so much and to do it effectively and you really care about doing things effectively so really don't 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 saddle yourself with so many mental burdens that you can't do anything well. You want to be effective and you don't want to um, spend so much time thinking about what you're not taking care of, like over here, and get bitten for it, okay? So don't look over your shoulder, don't drive looking in the rearview mirror, turn around, look at where you're going, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty for letting go of things that aren't working for you. You... <laughs> And usually I don't think that that would be a problem, but I feel like for some of you, the things that you're going to be letting go of, these are like really deep-seated patterns. For those of you who care about like personal growth and like uh, evolving as a human being, it's like some of you are going to be letting go of these things that you've been like kind of carrying around since you were a child, like codependent relationships or like, like, um, no, like abusive for some it's it, this is a general reading so it's so hard like so many concepts are coming to me at once but it's like abusive relationships it's like um it's it's patterns with even with parents like narcissistic personality disorder and like like um the fact that when we are raised in trauma we carry it we we it's not literally we figuratively carry it and that's heavy and it's time to put some of these things down and some of them are old and some of them are old but you're playing them out in your real life right now even though that's old shit and it needs to be put down and released and so you have as i alluded to earlier this sense of heartbreak and separation and it kicks away this card which like spirit said to me is very close to the truth like some of you are kind of pushing away somebody um because you're feeling heartbroken and feeling betrayed. Um, here you are with your heart pierced and there's this sense of being like left alone. And when I say that, and when I look at these flowers growing around the swords, it's like Capricorn, you know that like no other sign in the Zodiac, it's like you can take harsh conditions. You can thrive in harsh conditions and you grow from harsh conditions and I feel that you will. And I feel that there is happiness and growth waiting for you on the other side of this, but it is kind of like you have to go through this this bit of catastrophe, this bit of, like, things shattering that you thought would stand forever um, and falling from this tower. And it's like, when I see the tower, what I think is that you've probably been avoiding or staving off this massive change, and it's like, Spirit will push you from the nest when you are unwilling to test your wings yourself. So some of you may be getting pushed from the proverbial nest this month. The tower is like shocking change that you don't expect and institutions that you thought would stand forever falling apart. So for some people that's like losing a job. For some people that's like losing or walking away from a relationship. And especially with this heartbreak card, that could be it for some of you. Um, and it can also just be that what you thought you wanted kind of falls apart like I thought I I thought I had what I wanted and now it feels empty for some of you um, especially sitting right next to this and again this is a general reading so there's a lot of impressions coming in um, but for all of you something will be lost and you will benefit from its loss what can I say I'm not trying to sugarcoat or to undercut how painful it can be to lose this because this is an emotional investment something something that really hurts it's not like anyone is physically hurting you it's an emotional it's you get it's like a punch in the heart chakra like you know how you feel heartbreak in your chest or in your gut and there is some of that here there is some just grief grief and mourning and loss and I feel some of you are mourning a partnership, but there is something left. There is something that can be grown, and whether that is in the old partnership or just with the remnants when you leave it behind, something amazing still exists in your life, something literally, I mean, fruitful. 
So don't lose sight of the cups, the two cups that are full still behind you while you're looking at these three down here that are empty. There is so much, there is so much more than what is seeping into the earth because it's been knocked over by God when, you know, spirit, universe, whatever you want to call that. When you have five cups and the universe comes and kicks over three, it's because what was in those three cups had grown stagnant and it was time for it to leave your life and for you to focus your energy on what is actually producing beauty and growth and nourishment in your life, these grapes. You have a lot going for you. Just keep, don't, don't lose perspective. Don't keep your focus on what's not working because again, you can be very austere, Capricorn. You can be very, very, I mean, you can deal with hard circumstances, but, but by virtue of that, it's almost like you, you crave that or you, you move toward it unconsciously. And so don't, don't keep your spec perspective on what's not working. Okay. Like move over to what is working and look right above you, right above these full cups is this partnership, this blossoming union, this harmony. So some of you will be losing a partnership and gaining a new one. And I'm not feeling that necessarily that's always entirely romantic for all of you. For some of you, it's like, yes, you're losing certain emotional investments and, and mental in, uh, investments in your life and, and projects. But there's this sense of support that is coming into your life and a sense of exchange and harmony and just mutual appreciation. And I want to say, Capricorn, that this is you this month the Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female, you're represented by this Queen of Swords who is like a wordsmith. She is a speaker of truths. She is uh, like sarcastic, biting, very honest, but, and, and she is kind. Like she may be biting and brutal in her honesty, but she wants people to grow. She knows that if a plant is growing in a pot and you never prune it, you never, you know, cut those excess branches, that eventually the entire plant will die because you've allowed the roots to just get too overburdened. It's like she knows that if you allow bullshit to just sort of flourish, that you're going to kill, uh, you're going to kill everything. You're going to kill the fun. You're going to kill your life. So you don't have patience for bullshit and you don't have patience for like wasted energy. And this person is offering you a partnership, um where you can build something tremendous. Like, I feel like some of you are seeing milestones already for this growth this month, but I feel like for a lot of you, when you make this partnership or you solidify it, um, there's a lot more progress coming down the line. So this could even just mean, you know, some of you may be doing solo stuff, but bounce ideas off of people, off of someone, someone close to you. And I do feel like when I see this queen here and then this king over here, again, male or female, this is somebody who is, a king is the master of their craft, like at the top of their game. And this king is the king of the realm of emotions. So this is somebody who is highly sensitive, highly compassionate, highly empathic, like to the point of psychic. And this is like the wounded healer. So this is somebody who you have like this so much respect for because they've been through so much shit and yet they have so much grace and compassion and goodness inside of them. So who in your life is extremely sensitive and kind and it's almost like I, I love like do you see this crab on his shoulder and how he's looking at it because what I want to say and what spirit is saying is like it's almost as if if there were somebody in your life who could talk to animals <laughs> it would be this person like this would be the person who has a down low magic power and can like talk to squirrels okay so you have this grief over this change right but then you have this blossoming partnership and this beautiful milestone so again spirit is saying that what you let go of will be replaced what you let go of will leave more room for your inspiration to to find the right nourishment to grow and i feel that by the end of the month a lot of you will be it's like, I feel like this is, you're sending messages and you're receiving messages. So this is like sending out applications. This is like sending out like proofs. This is like, I'm going to go ahead and put up my website. Like, this is like, I'm going to get my message out there. And 
I, I feel like September is a month where a lot of you are getting your stuff really like like really getting your shit together in a really good way especially after having feeling you know being really beaten up and feeling very separated and betrayed it's like okay I'm gonna stop um wasting my energy on this crap that is like not giving me anything these empty cups and I'm gonna go ahead and pour my energy into what is working for me and that is going to call opportunity into your life okay and I'm going to be picking a card every month that I really want you to remember and most take away from this month. And though I'm drawn to that queen and I'm drawn to your strength, Spirit says this is the one for you this month. Okay, so hermit, Capricorn, go back to school. Don't be afraid to hermit a little bit, to, to take some quiet time, to go within, to pray, to meditate, to take those long baths. You have an amazing, again, this amazing inspiration that you have, it needs nurturing. And it needs that, that meditative, that mind-clearing nurturing because it is innate in you. It is a natural gift that you have that just needs your quiet introspection, that just needs room to show itself to you. So make room for quiet self-care. Make room for research and study and then that, follow that study with like a nap or meditation or prayer and see what comes to you and write everything down okay that's the other thing spirit is saying is find a dedicated place and write everything down um i feel like september is is lightening your load and it's kind of like it's lightening your load in ways that you like and it's lightening your load in ways that you may not like or expect but either way it is lightening your load so that you can invest in the stuff that is going to work for you so consider what will work for you because this is a wonderful opportunity to really make it happen wow it's a heavy september capricorn but it's a good heavy it's a productive heavy um, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If it left you with any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you liked it, I would love for you to like it and subscribe if you want to hear more. I'll be putting out some astrology videos and definitely more of these taroscopes. And um, I really appreciate you tuning in. And um, I hope to talk to you again in October. So thanks again, Capricorn. Later. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed your tarot scope. And if it brought up any questions or if anything resonated with you, I would love to hear from you in the comments and get back to you about whatever you, whatever came up for you during your reading. Um, and if you'd like to talk a little bit more, you can find me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, all of the things. Um, and I've linked those down below. So if you want to find me there, um, I'd be happy to talk to you and you can also check more out on my blog writteninthestars.co where I do daily card readings as well as weekly horoscopes and give you some other tips to invite more magic into your life every day. I really appreciate you tuning in and I hope to see you in October. I'm still debating my costume so if you have any ideas please let me know. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful September 2016. Bye bye!